If you're looking to improve your putting this year and improve your putting stroke basics, then we have a brand new putter today from 2024 that could help you put better. And today the putter in question is a zero torque balance, brand new PXG Allen putter, which they do say it can fit anyone's stroke. And this is said putter in question today. So we can see we have that S hosel, which is going into where the center of gravity is. And this is to help with that torque. So we're gonna create less of this motion right here. So less twist there. And we can also see that we do have the latest generation of those grooves in this PXG face. Again, a changeable weight at the bottom, exactly what we'd expect on a putter at this price and of this premium design. Let's see what it can do. And you might be thinking, why do we need a zero torque balance putter? And the reason being for this, and the reason why you've seen other ones out there, such as Lab, so the Mez One putter, we do see that a lot out on tour. There's quite a few players using those, but it's for your off-centered hit. So obviously, if you're somebody who, well, like all of us, don't hit the center of the face, if we're somebody who hits the ball off the toe of the putter, for example, we're still getting that forgiveness. We're still getting the distance there. And you can see I can control that. And even if I do miss hit it, I'm still gonna be able to have a good chance of getting out of here with a two put. Now off the heel, and you'll see that even off a heel, which would normally come off a lot slower, you can see pace wise is pretty good. But this is where obviously they've tried to help you. So the less twist in the face, is designed to keep that club face a little bit straighter on the arc. So there's less twist, there's less rotation of the face. And there's a great example of that you'll see on screen now from the PXG website. The difference between a toe hang putter and this Allen PXG putter. As you can see there, obviously, it's staying squarer to the arc. And that's the idea of if we can keep that face squarer to our path, we can get it coming back to that golf ball square more times than not. And if we can do that, we're going to hopefully hold a few more putts. And now these are scoring putts. These are the ones that we want to hold again here, around about six feet away. Tour average is 75%. But for an everyday golfer, for a handicap golfer, it might be less. But this putter potentially could help you get that ball starting on line better, keep your face square. Could it help you hold a few more putts? And this is where obviously then you can break it down. If you get a putter just like this, a zero torque balance putter that gets you getting that club face square to your path, you might start to see some issues. And this is where, again, you might think about going for a lesson and then trying to get fitted to a putter just like this, an Allen putter that could be perfect for your stroke, but might not be for everyone. And just like you'd expect from PXG, this putter does have the finished putter face on the range of all putters. So again, a thinner face gets that ball coming off a little bit quicker, but with the grooves in the face, does feel nice and soft off the face. So again, I'm getting a good feel on here. And for me, it's all about judging that pace. And you can see there right away, it's doing exactly what I want it to do. It's getting that pace to make those putts easy. It had a chance but it didn't go in. And one big thing, like I say, if you drop your golf ball out of there, one big thing they are happy with, and you will be surprised or you'll be amazed how many people have said that's the best thing on this putter is that we can pick the ball up. So like they do say, it's the little things in life. And if we talk price points for these putters, you'll see on screen now the Mez one is coming around about 450 pounds. So this is exactly a similar putter to this, a zero torque balance putter. The Allen is coming at 429 and we'll talk about stats shortly because I did test this putter out in Arizona and they did put it against a lab putter. So again, as you would expect from PXG, they have left no stone unturned when it talks about technology and getting that to perform. So the S hosel is the shaft access, which is positioned just above the CG of this putter to help again reduce the twisting and enhance the stability. We've also got a hollow body construction and we also have an aluminium plate on there. You'll see the alignment aid on the top is a nice big alignment aid, which we have seen from studies that that is gonna help you aim a little bit better 
over time. So that's going to give you a little bit more consistency starting that ball online, which is what we all want. We have a lightweight S-Core polymer, which you will see on screen now, and that is again to obviously help with bonding of the face and also shifts weight to the edges to enhance that MOI. So again, dampens the sounds and vibrations for a smoother feel. And that's something certainly that I felt on those ports at the start of this video. Like I've also mentioned, it does have the thinnest face in golf. That's again, just to create the soft sound of an insert with a responsive feel of a solid mill putter. So precision weighting, you'll see the two weights on the bottom of this putter, again, to help with the MOI, to help with that forgiveness, and also get your pace control better, which I think is the most important thing with these putters is to get that ball to be consistent off the face and your distance control to improve. And as we all know, the pickup pocket at the bottom. One of the main things that people have mentioned to me over the last couple of weeks looking at this putter, but they have liked the sound, they have liked the feel. Let's get back out there. So plenty of technology in there, but this is where for me, if you're struggling with pace, which I would say the biggest fault for everyday golfers, even your low handicap golfers, is pace control is the reason why you're three put. But if we can get that more consistent with a putter just like this, which is, zero torque balance, a good put there, then that could certainly help you lower your scores. Two pretty good puts there, one miss, but again, Tor Aris wouldn't say that, but all I'm bothered about is that I would two put from there, which is going to help me lower my scores. So maybe check out your local PXG fitting centre and see if you can get fitted for this Allen putter. Like we mentioned in there, an in-depth fitting it was, not only for the shaft length, but also for the grip that I've got on there that suits my grip, which will also help me have better face control, better distance control, and can hopefully also help you lower your scores guys if you're enjoying the content please do hit that subscribe button we are trying to get to 50,000 before the end of the year i'll see you again later in the week